guys, welcome back to my channel. So, welcome to my Italy vlog. I definitely filmed the intro to this before and then I accidentally deleted it on my camera. So, we're back now. But yeah, we went to Tuscany in Italy and I filmed a few bits. I don't think I've really filmed that much, but I just want to show you guys what we got up to and yeah, share any cool places that we went as well. Right, so we are here. Every jot, the whole journey was so, so, so smooth until we actually got here. So we managed to get to the airport, drop our bags off, go through security, get all ready and everything within an hour, door to door, which was great. Sort of had a bit of breakfast, it was all really chilled. Got on the plane, EasyJet actually didn't put our seats together, which was really annoying. And then Steve's seat had two spare seats next to him. So we managed to have three seats to ourselves. I watched just like movies or Netflix, downloaded them on my phone. Great, and we were like, this is perfect. This is like a good omen. We're gonna have really good luck. We went to go pick up our car. Turns out, I'm gonna say this is like a bit of a tip. Basically, our credit cards are both Amex credit cards. And we went to go pick up our car, which was prepaid. They needed a credit card to obviously, um, what's it called? For like the deposit for the car basically and they wouldn't take amex and we booked it through easy car and i just i phoned them and was like look what we meant to do we've paid for this car they won't let us get it because we can't we can't pay for the deposit because they won't accept our credit cards easy car were just like you're on your own they would not do anything I spoke to the manager which was just really shit to be honest and really disappointed because obviously it's like a really well known company as well so we had to end up basically paying the waiver fee for our car. So we basically ended up spending four times the amount for our car. But the guy at the actual car place, which was called Centauro, I think, he was so, so lovely. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to give you like the best car that we have here available for you. Because we only booked like a little Fiat 500, just a little runaround car. So that's our big mum wagon that we have for the whole week now so i mean it's a nice car and it's sort of got like a nice panoramic roof and stuff like that so it is really nice but just a little bit frustrating but we're not gonna let it ruin our holiday it's actually my brother's birthday today so everyone's just getting ready we just literally got to the villa had a little dip in the pool which is here that's my sister's swan we haven't had time to blow up our inflatable yet so yeah uh, the scenery around here don't know if you can even make it out in the background there it's just all so beautiful just like green rolling hills lots of vineyards really really pretty so i'm already just waiting on my sister and her husband to get ready and then we're going to head out for a meal for my brother's birthday i'm going to try and show you a bit of the villa obviously i don't want to show you too much because i am here with my family and all our partners and stuff so i don't want to sort of invade their personal space but i'm going to show you a little bit basically it's a villa that sleeps it has like four rooms but it's kind of split into two apartments so me and steve and my brother and his girlfriend are in the top kind of apartment and then my mum and my dad and my sister and her husband are in the kind of bottom apartment so i'll show you the top one that we're staying in so this is what it looks from the outside it looks really really tiny but it's literally like a tardis got a really cute little stone driveway and like it's all gated off and everything just really nice i think the owners live there i'm not sure but it's just really nice and kind of secluded and then you have steps down to these like really nice big double doors there's like a kind of seating area and barbecue area around there as well and like oh the post in the way there's like a big fire pit so that's one of the reasons we chose this villa is because you have that like amazing pool and there's really nice sort of outdoor areas just go in here really quick hello here she is. Oh, so that's the kind of it's like a little fire area what would you call this mum a wood burner, a wood burner. that's a good word little wood burner and then a little kitchen here which obviously there's like little double doors out there to go into the kind of barbecue area and then down here there's a pool table up there as well 
So guys are playing pool. You can kind of look through into the little fire pit area. Then there's basically down here, there's two bathrooms. I was got a bath, that was got a shower. That's my brother and his girlfriend's room. And then this is our room. Turn that light on. So yeah, it's already like very sort of quaint and kind of like an Italian little villa type. Ignore the mess. And then this is really cool as well. It's like a really massive kind of wardrobe. My brother said this is creepy, but I actually think this is really useful. There's so much storage. Yeah, so I think we're just gonna have maybe another drink here and then head out for some dinner, which I'm not gonna vlog obviously, but yeah, I will vlog up more interesting stuff later on in the week. Oh, beautiful morning. We're just uh, popping out to the supermarket. I'm going with Steve and my mum. We're just gonna pick up a few bits because we're gonna have a barbecue in the villa tonight the car is absolutely filthy i have to show you we went down all these like really tiny little dirt track roads which we were not expecting how <laughs> dirty is that <laughs> <laughs> navigation loo here hair. i am It's like vineyards everywhere, isn't it? Vineyards and yeah, all of them. We're at the co-op! <laughs> oh my god, look at all this cheese. Yeah, I'll get another red. I like seeing wonky vegetables here because they don't have them in England, they get rid of them. Yeah. Show me your glove. Wham! <laughs> right. Loads of mochi and pasta. Um, and then you've got tomato, put the tomato on. It oh, it's a tomato or fruit. I, oh, salad. And then tomato. Yeah. There we go. Should I press it? There we go. How cool is that? Yeah. Bananas. And actually, a bit of peppers. In the basket. Oh, loading up the alcohol. Oh, there's an adorable doggo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hello. Morning. So, yesterday I didn't really vlog that much. So, we went to the supermarket. Um, and I know this is really really weird but I love going to foreign supermarkets and seeing what they have and like what's different and stuff so that was really cool and yeah we literally spent the whole day just chilling by the pool we had a barbecue in the evening just stayed in the villa all day pretty much and just proper chilled out because it was our first kind of full day um so today we're gonna go out exploring um so we're gonna drive to Florence we've got my brother and his girlfriend coming along as well with me and Steve so we're gonna go drive to Florence, see a few bits. Not really sure what the plan is for this evening yet. I think we should go play it by ear, whether we go out for dinner or might just pick something up to have here. Cause it's quite nice being able to cook here and just relax in the garden. Um, so we'll see, but I'll try and get a few bits when we're going around Florence. Why what? A cookie bag. A cookie? <laughs> I haven't got time for cookies right now. Just... Wandering around Florence. Well, we're wandering to stuff, aren't we? Yeah. Just parked like we're just outside. And we're walking to go to like the old town bit, and but it's really pretty. It's like shutters and.
Right, so we had a very, very long day in Florence yesterday. Lots of walking. Um, it was really, really lovely. Saw some amazing views and different kind of bits of architecture and stuff, which was lovely. And yeah, then we came back and my dad just basically cooked dinner for everyone. We just stayed in the villa. And today we have been doing nothing. Just sat by the pool, chilling out, eating. And now we are going out for a proper Italian meal just up the road. Just waiting for people to sort out who's driving who, find car keys, all that jazz. So yeah, we're just going to drive there. Time now is like, I think it's like 7 o'clock. And our table's for like 7.38 or something. But the sun, not that you can really see it, the sun is kind of setting. So basically the place we're going is meant to have really lovely views over the vineyards so maybe we'll be able to see a little bit of a sunset if we leave now <laughs> but we're still waiting on people but yeah I'll try and film a couple of bits around the dinner place because it's meant to be absolutely beautiful and yeah and then tomorrow we're gonna go into I can't say this San Gimiano um, I've been calling it San G because I can't pronounce it um, so yeah we're gonna go there actually I think me and Steve are having like a little date night there yeah, and then during the day we're going to be in another town that I've literally just blanked or what the name is. I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, it's, just, it's smaller than Florence but bigger than Sanji. And yeah, we're going to explore there and go and have lunch there. So we're going to, we're basically trying to alternate two days. Like one day by the pool, then one day doing loads of exploring. And then kind of get a good mix of um, relaxing and actually seeing stuff as well. So yeah. Right, we have arrived, but we have missed the sunset. <laughs> okay. And that's San Gimiano up on the hill. Right, so yesterday we did get there after the sunset, so there wasn't that much to show. But the place we ate was friggin' awesome. It was 35 euros and you got like so many different courses. It's like a kind of set meal and like unlimited wine from, and all of the, pretty much all of the stuff is grown on their like local farm. So I will try and find um, the link for like the TripAdvisor page and I will link that down below because it was seriously so, so, so good. So yeah, we were out till quite late, drank loads of wine and now we're going into Siena which is what I couldn't remember the name of yesterday so we're gonna go have lunch in Siena just walk around a little bit got a few things we want to see I'm so out of breath for just walking up that hill um, yeah and then plan is that after Siena we're gonna come back here and get changed and then go out for like date night so yeah here comes steve bringing the recycling hi <laughs> you all right yeah good to go yeah hop in the whip Right, so, went out for date night and didn't quite work out that way. Nope. So basically we 
we drove in and my parents came in the back of the car and we were going to eat at different restaurants. The sat nav took us up this massive mountain, um, which was not where we were intending to go. Yeah, just just the casual 50 kilometres away from where we up wanted to be. Really actually. windy roads. So we were what, like an hour late for dinner? Yeah. Um, so we couldn't get a table at the restaurant that we wanted. Then we ended up at the same restaurant as my parents. So we had date night with my parents. <laughs> um, but it was cool anyway, we still had fun. So we're gonna go back to the restaurant tomorrow yeah. that we were meant to eat at. Um, but yeah, my parents are back there somewhere. But yeah, we've just had even more ice cream. Second ice cream of the day. Second ice cream of the day. And now we're just gonna head back, but we're in San, I can't say this, San, San Gimiano. Gi Gimiano. Gimiano. Um, and it's so pretty. Go on, babe, work it. Get it. <laughs> right. Um, we are just getting in the car to go out again. So, last night, woo, sorry, whoa, that AC, strong. Um, yeah, so we went to go for dinner last night, but our sat nav took us like literally up a mountain. So we were late for dinner and then we didn't get to eat where we wanted. So we didn't eat there last night, but we're gonna go there tonight. Um, this morning we've just been chilling by the pool just relaxing we've just had lunch and just us two are going out when i say us two i mean Hello. me and steve are just going out now we're literally just going to go out and like have a little drive grab a cup of coffee and we actually want to stop by um this place that we had dinner a couple of nights ago where they basically i mentioned it, it was like 35 euro for um like a massive meal and they have all like their own wine and stuff like that so we're actually going to go buy a bottle of their wine that they grow at their little farm and did that music just come on weird um yeah buy a bottle of their wine to gift to my parents because they've organized a lot of stuff they pay for a lot of meals they've done a lot since we've been here so we just want to buy them a nice little bottle of wine yeah. um from that place just to say thank you for organizing so much so that's why we've kind of snuck out, which is really awkward because you know how nosy my dad is. And he was like, where are you going? We're like, off oh, coffee. But where are you going? Where? We're like, oh my gosh. What coffee? <laughs> so with you. we're having to sneak out. We're just sorting out the sat nav now. Uh, yeah. I, did, I think we're going to try. We're basically going to drive to this farm place, mm -hmm. pick up the wine and see if we can just have a coffee there because they have really nice views over this kind of rolling hills and all like very Tuscan kind of scenery. So we're gonna try and have a coffee there, but if not, we'll just maybe go to San Gimiano or something. Yeah, some, something like that, yeah. Go somewhere else. There's so many places that we could go, so. Also, I am loving, how cool is that? Like, I oh, probably live under a rock, but these like massive pano routes are so cool. Okay, so we've just pulled up in the car park. We're gonna show you like what the view was. There's loads of people, so I don't wanna like shout. There's, um, we're going to show you like the view out where you eat and then in the gift shop a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. Should we go gift shop first? Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Since that's what we came here for. That one? Oh, that one. Yeah. This was a Vernaccia. Do you want to get them one of each? Yeah, sure. Or otherwise, I was just looking, they've got like balsamic glazes, it's like a truffle glaze and stuff like that here as well. Okay, Maybe get them a bottle there. of, get a bottle of wine and then. Yeah, sure. One of these, maybe. Successful trip. Yeah, let's just go put this in the car. And then we're going to grab a coffee. <laughs> I'm not even joking. This car has been really good, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the name of the place and that's like the address there. I'll try and link it down below but basically this is what I was saying that it's actually like a family run 
farm. Um, and I think they said like 90 to 95% of the stuff that you consume is actually from their farms. It's all local produce. So we got um, a bottle of red for us, a bottle of red for my parents. And then we also got my parents this kind of like truffle oil as well. But I mean, even the bottles of wine were 13, 13 euros. euros. And it's a really, really nice sort of red wine. So <sighs> cheaper chips, isn't it, babe? Yeah, can't complain. Hopefully we Just can trying get to hide it. Back in without uh... Yeah, hide it so we can actually because tomorrow is our last night. So we're gonna go for a kind of big meal, so we'll give it to them and just say thank you. Um yeah. So this is where we ate a couple of nights ago. Would definitely recommend. How good was the food that we had? It was so much. And it was, it was 35 so euro for basically well, they do like preemie and antipasti and all that kind of jazz, but it was a lot of food, even for us. Yeah, there was like four starters, a pasta, a meat dish. Yeah, and, and it's uh, all like proper authentic yeah. Italian food, it was amazing. And then this is the view, which is absolutely incredible. I think you can you can actually stay here as well, because that's their so. swimming pool, but it's just all lots of vineyards, rolling hills, and that kind of town up there is San Gimiano. I'm probably saying that wrong still, but that is actually where we were last night and that's where we're going to eat again tonight. So this is, how long did it take us to get here? 25 minutes from yeah, where we're staying? 25-30 minutes, something like that. Um, and then San Gimiano is probably a similar kind of distance. We couldn't have coffee in the farm shop place because you can only have like a booked sit-down meal there. So we've just driven to Podgibonsi. Podgibonsi. Um, yeah, we've just looked up on sort of Google, just a coffee shop. So we're just walking there now. Tristevan? Hey. Hey. Sorry, I'm finding now. That's right. Um, it's a little bit ghost towny. What day is it? It's Thursday, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's like half two on Thursday and it's like completely dead. There's not really anyone here. It doesn't look like much stuff's open, so I'm not really sure. Okay, how, much I want. how much is that? 260. 260 for two coffees. Fast, well good. Bargain, that's what you do that's what you get for not coming to tourist areas. Yeah, so I think they're kind of like having a bit of a siesta. Um, everything's closed until four o'clock. We did just have coffee. But to be like it's, what did you say it was? 10 to 3? Yeah. We could wait until stuff opens, but we don't really need to go shopping. There's not really anything else here. It's just shops, basically. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to head back to the car and... Head back to the car. So, we finally ate in the restaurant we went to last night. Woo! Um, it was really, really good actually, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really, really nice. Really, really nice. The wine was really um, good. We took a look, couple of little photos of like the view and stuff. That's basically what it looks like in there. And then there's like a terrace that kind of looks over. I don't know if it'll... That's what it's called. So yeah, absolutely stuffed, loads of wine. That's We're now gonna, head. um, yeah, walk up more hills. Oh my God, I got such a sweat on walking to dinner because we had to walk up this massive hill and I was wearing hills so we got there really really sweaty but we're just going to walk into the centre find my sort of like Fancy wobbling <laughs> um, find my brother and his girlfriend maybe I don't know if any I think all the shops will be closed to be honest um, and yeah get back in the car and go back to the villa this is like what all of it's like all the way up, just loads of steps. I'm so full. Right, so it's our last full day. So we've kind of like basically ticked off everything that we like really wanted to do. So basically what we did is we came back to Pochibonsi, mm -hmm. which is where we were yesterday, but everything was closed for like a siesta. So we've just come and just sort of like had a wander around. We just went into the church just behind us. It's really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, we just did a little bit of shopping. Steve got a sick suit. 
from somewhere called Doppelganger mm -hmm. and it was it was in the sale and it was 50 euro mm -hmm. for a whole suit like top a really really on. nice Italian suit so we've cleaned up there um, yeah so we're pretty much finished we're gonna go head back to the car um, we're gonna go back we're gonna cook some lunch I've got some gnocchi I'm gonna make us for lunch Yum. with a bit of pesto a bit of mozzarella real nice um, yeah and then did we say we're gonna do anything this afternoon no I don't think so we're either just gonna chill by the pool or just sort of like hang around in the garden. I think where we're staying is it's just so nice that I can just sit out in the sun and just relax basically. So I think we're gonna do that. Um, and then tonight, I think we are actually going out for a big dinner yeah, we're at, everyone's with my going whole out, family. Oh, where are you? You're very, very I'm shadowy. Very dark, sorry. Um, yeah, we're going out for dinner with the whole family. It's like a big shebang last night out. I'm um, not sure where we're going yet, but it'll be good, it'll be fun. Yeah. Right, so yesterday was our last day and we're just packing up today, so we've just packed everything in the, in the car ready to go to the airport, but we're going to stop in, in Pisa. Pisa. <laughs> in Pisa first, we, we want to go see like the leading town Pisa and stuff, so we're going to drive to Pisa, stop there, grab some lunch to take to the airport with us, hopefully find some a nice like sandwich shop or something and yeah and then drop our rental car off and head on back home to hopefully sunny England but probably not not sunny Steve's shaking his head um yeah so hopefully we'll film a little bit in Pisa uh, the weather is so nice here today mm, that's hot sun already. yeah it's like 8 30. it's so nice um yeah we will show you a little bit around Pisa. Right, we just got to Pisa. It's really, really pretty actually. Look at all the buildings. We just drove over one of those bridges to get here. So we've literally just parked up on the side of the road. And now we need to head behind all the buildings. We're going to head towards um, the Leaning Tower. But the architecture is so nice that way. Really, really pretty. Ready? Hello. Yeah. Right, so we are home. I definitely forgot to sign this video off yesterday. Um, we didn't get back until, I think, seven o'clock. We meant to land at like four, and our flight was delayed by hours, which was so frustrating that we couldn't pick Rocky up last night. So we've literally just gone and picked him up uh, this morning. Rocky, where are you at? Hey. Where are you at, huh? And he's at... He's had a little haircut as well. So yeah, we've just been to pick him up. Um, so it's nice to have everyone back together. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was such an amazing holiday. We had such a good time. I'm gonna try and leave certain links below of like places we ate that we thought were really good, that we'd recommend. And yeah, I feel like this vlog is gonna be really, really short and gonna seem like we didn't really do that much, but I did quite a lot of stuff with my family. I didn't wanna be on my phone all day, um, not my phone, filming stuff all day on my camera. So I don't feel like I filmed that much. So sorry if it's been a little bit blah, but say la vie. Anyway, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.